tell me a little bit, uh, you're going to talk about um, investment in content at, at the workshop. And I love the fact that you talk about cheap content and really, is that going to cost you more in the end? Right. So how can you think about the content um, in terms, in more holistic terms and in ways that where you get a better bang for your buck, so to speak? Sure. Um, I think SEOs uh, as an industry, not all SEOs, but a large part of the SEO community has ruined content. Content has become about, how can I write this article for 25 bucks, post it on some site, and then get a link? And that's fine, and it will help you to rank today. Um, but I think the search community and marketers in general need to say, let me think about problems. Everybody that runs a business, you solve a problem. You know, your business solves a problem for someone. Mine is, I can't rank well on the search engines, or I need to grow my business. Like, I can help solve that problem. So your business solves a problem. Start to change the mentality to go from, how can I get a link on this piece of content to my site, which is important, it will always be important, mm -hmm. to saying, how can I find a way to help people figure out whatever it is that they are looking to achieve and if it makes sense to put a link in there do it but I think it, the idea of how can I get content written for 20 bucks or 25 bucks all the time is the wrong way to go I think people need to diversify how they go about writing content contacting authors contacting people with popular YouTube channels there's a lot of different ways to produce high quality content with people who already have social proof versus sending out something to uh, you know articleengine.com or whatever, just to get yourself a link, you can, I'm gonna challenge people for my presentation to get the same links that people do with crappy content and say, you can do it with higher quality content and you're gonna get, you're actually gonna get leads from it. Whereas the content that ends up on those article sites is all about getting a link. I'm thinking, why don't we turn that into getting a link but also getting us leads? Because links don't create sales. Leads create sales. So if we can get the link, but also create leads with the content that we build, you're gonna win. Versus just constantly pumping out low quality articles for as cheap as you can. Um, I think I'll be able to show people, like there's a different way to go about doing that. And uh, hopefully you guys will then implement it later and tell me all the wonderful success I love, stories. You know, I love the idea if you could expand on it a little bit because there is a lot of this mythology around link building. <laughs> Yes. And, you know, ranking, ranking higher and yep. playing to Mother Google and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So can, can you give me a little bit of an insight of what is separating the mythology from the reality? Ah, okay. So the reality is if you don't get links to your site with the words that you're trying to rank well for, you're probably not going to win today, right? That is the God's honest truth. And no matter who tells you something different, um, ask them to show you an example of a keyword that actually has a lot of competition where someone's not actually building out those links. Does it happen from time to time? Yes, but it is the anomaly. I've only been doing this for 13 years every day of my life. It is a myth. If somebody comes to you and says, don't worry about getting links, um, you know, Google's got it figured out. They don't. But what Google is working on and will figure out is thought leadership. And when Google starts to figure out who are the right people, when I type in wine, that they should um, reward their links, that's when, like, how do I get a link from Gary Vaynerchuk? I probably have to develop something that's extremely relevant on wine, and it's very, very, very good. When Google figures out that, oh, well, when Gary Vaynerchuk's social profile looks like this, those links have more value, that's what Google's working towards. Because what people realize is websites can put up links about anything. But once somebody builds a certain amount of thought leadership, that's good. when they can analyze that and figure out that this person is more reputable about wine than this person, then getting links from this person will count more than links from this person. And it may not always be getting a link from their website. It's gonna be coming from their social profile. So my challenge to people is, how are you connecting with people on social so that when Google does figure it out, and they employ probably more PhDs than anyone, they're gonna figure it out. When they do, what side of the fence do you wanna be on? The, oh crap, I just lost all my ranking side? Or do you want to be on the side that saw this coming for years and started making investments today and connecting with those thought leaders so that they wanted, to be, they wanted to follow your business, they wanted to link to you, they wanted to talk about you? So that's what I'm hopefully going to prepare people for because it's coming. It's just a matter of whether it's going to come tomorrow, next year, or five years from now. And I don't want to be on the wrong side of it when it does.